If it could happen to them, it could happen to anyone. That's the thought that haunts Matthew McClucky's family as they prepare for the fight for safer roads. And they already have a groundswell of support with a huge reaction to their recently launched online campaign. We need these changes now. We can't go through a, a three, four year review on uh, public safety around our roads. The ACT government says it already has a review into road safety laws. It will include looking at whether the penalties are proportionate uh, to the offences under our road transport legislation and it will also include looking at offences like our racing offences. This is clearly a gap in the current legislation that doesn't need to be a review. Other states have much tougher penalties for street racing, including jail, but others say there are more effective means. Seizing a car and crushing it is, you know, giving it back to, the, to that person in, in, a, in a small box, you know, a lunchbox sized car, that will really send a really powerful message. But what has struck the family most has been the bureaucracy, from insurance claims to funeral benefits, which remain unresolved despite constant phone calls and emails. I think it's taken away from our ability to grief, to be honest, uh, and to sort of deal with the trauma. It has been uh, very stressful. The maze of bureaucracy and red tape is something we must do better on to make sure that families aren't having to navigate this in order to access, to access the entitlements which government are clear they should have. The next step for the McClucky family is an e-petition. We need to have a deterrent in place and it's got to be through some mandatory sentencing. If you purposely do some of these uh, criminal activities, you're going to do time. In a statement, ACT policing has defended its record, saying it's laid around 1,100 charges for dangerous driving in the past two and a half years, although it has backed calls for alternative punishments like seizing and crushing. But Tom McLucky is in a hurry. His next target, the Chief Minister's office. They advised me it takes about a week to get an appointment with the, the Chief Minister and I still to date have not had uh, anything back. A family on a mission determined to make a difference. Elizabeth Byrne, ABC News, Canberra.